Hi everybody, Steve here in Palm Springs, California, and I'm here in front of the uh, Caliente Tropics Hotel, one of the most historic hotels here in Palm Springs. And in case you're wondering why I'm wearing this mask, and I hope you can hear, I hope you can hear me okay, is because Palm Springs is requiring everyone to wear masks indoors and outdoors, and there are people here at the hotel, so that's why I got my mask on today. My friend Scott from Toronto recently uploaded his visit to this hotel from when he was here in Palm Springs back in 2018. He filmed his vlog here late at night, so I thought I would come back here during the day and do mine. If you haven't yet seen his travel channel, I highly recommend that you check it out. His channel name is Scott on Tape. We haven't been able to do another vlog together this year because the Canadian borders have mostly been closed due to the world health situation, and he hasn't been able to make another trip back to Palm Springs. So I thought it might be fun if we both did the same destination from two totally different points of view, with one filmed at night and the other filmed during the day. Lots of famous people have stayed here over the years and a number of uh, movies and TV shows have been filmed here over the years. So I thought I would come and uh, show you what I can see during the daylight. I'm gonna pan completely around the front of this hotel while I tell you a little bit about the history. It's located at 411 East Palm Canyon Drive in South Palm Springs, which is one of the prime locations here in town. It opened in 1964, and its Polynesian, tiki-themed, mid-century modern architecture is a real landmark here. According to many sources over the years, it was the very first site of the Miss Hawaiian Tropics contest. It was also a regular hangout for Elvis and members of the famous Rat Pack. And in her younger years, it's been reported that Nancy Sinatra even lived here for a time. In 1997, the movie City of Industry, starring Timothy Hutton, Stephen Dorff, and Harvey Keitel, was filmed here. Five years later, in 2002, the Anna Nicole reality show, starring Anna Nicole Smith, also filmed an episode here. And then in 2006, the movie Alpha Dog, starring Justin Timberlake, Sharon Stone, Anton Yelchin, and many others, was also filmed here. Have any of you stayed here? And if so, did you stay in the room where Alpha Dog was filmed? Please tell us all about it in the comments section if you did. It has an historical plaque just outside the door, and I'll show that to you in a few minutes. Now, directly across the street is the Hotel California, and I'll just bet that a few of you Eagles fans have stayed there. Since many restaurants in California are still not allowed to serve meals indoors, it's nice to see that many are offering outdoor dining. But it's mid-September here in the desert, and it's already around 100 degrees here, and it's not even noon. So outdoor dining in Palm Springs in the summer isn't always that practical. Before I head back to show you the pool and the rest of the grounds, let's quickly stop into the lobby and see if there's anything to see. With a lot fewer people traveling these days because of everything that's going on in the world, and since this is summer and still off-season, I bet you can get some pretty good rates here. looking around. Okay. It's nice and cool in here, isn't it? And for those of you who I'm sure are wondering, no, I don't have any association or connection to the hotel, and this is not a promotion. I've never stayed here, but if I didn't already live in Palm Springs, this would definitely be a place I would love to stay. And look at these cool vintage photos up above the door. It's fun to see that the hotel hasn't changed much over the years. It's a bit like stepping back in time. Who needs a time machine when there's still hotels and destinations like this around? And I wonder what the hotel rates were back then. I wouldn't be surprised if they were around the same price as a cup of Starbucks coffee is today. Who else remembers when a cup of coffee was five cents? One of the things I carry with me now in my backpack is hand sanitizer. And I no longer touch door handles like those without using it. Just one more thing that's changed since the 1960s. Right across the way from the lobby is The Reef, which is a tropical-themed tiki bar and restaurant. Back in the day when it first opened, it became famous, or infamous, as The Conga Room. And there was even a basement cocktail lounge called The Cellar. And from what I've read, this is where members of the Rat Pack would hang out back in the day and have their own wild private parties. All of them owned homes here in Palm Springs, and this was one of a handful of bars and nightclubs where they would hang out. Today, what was once called the Conga Room is now called the Reef. The Tiki Bar has one of the best views in Palm Springs overlooking this beautiful large pool and the mountains. And if you're a fan of the movie Alpha Dogs that I mentioned earlier, then I'm sure you also recognize this pool. 
The movie was about a kidnapping and murder, and in one of those weird twists of fate, the story has many similarities to what happened to the original owner of this hotel. In 1971, hotel tycoon Kenneth Kimes became involved with career criminal Santee Singers, and they had a son together. When their son, Kenny Kimes, grew up, he chose to follow in his mother's footsteps, and eventually the two were convicted on multiple counts of murder. In places like Hollywood and Palm Springs, it's often difficult to tell the difference between fantasy and reality. And I can't tell if he's just really hot, or if this tiki is just expressing how he feels about the year 2020. Either way, I can relate today, and behind my mask, my tongue's sticking out too. Right behind the pool area are the cabanas, and what looks to be a little dog park and a recreation area. Back in 2003, when Anna Nicole Smith stayed here, she and her dog Sugar Pie became the very first pet and owner to put their paws in cement here at this hotel. Apparently back then, the hotel had decided to create their own pet walk of fame here. But sadly today, Anna and Sugar Pie's prints are no longer here, and there's only one set of cement prints remaining. So right there where the sign says uh, Austral or Astral Island, right behind that orange partition is the room where Alpha Dogs was filmed. And I can see why they did it back here toward the back of the complex. It's a lot quieter back here and there's just tons of street parking. So I'm sure it made it really easy for filming back here with all of their trucks and equipment that they always use when filming. So I was here before I started my YouTube channel about three, four years ago. Took lots of pictures, walked around, but I didn't uh, take any videos and I, would, I didn't have a YouTube channel then and so I wasn't making vlogs or sharing videos like I am now, so I thought I would come back. Scott inspired me, watching Scott's uh, video last night inspired me to come and do a daytime vlog. So, thanks Scott. The room is number 216 and it's upstairs and I think it's great that it's got this historic marker like this. Of course, I wish all hotels did this. And if any of you were fans of the Anna Nicole show and happen to remember which room she was in, please share that with us in the comments section. I wasn't able to find that episode online and haven't been able to discover the room number. Maybe it wasn't shown in the episode. But if it was, I'm sure that one of you will know. I know from all of the comments that I've received over the years that some of you are very detail-oriented. So who else remembers the tiki craze of the 1960s? Everyone in our neighborhood threw tiki barbecue parties and every family had tiki torches. The company that made those must have made a fortune that decade. And since Palm Springs was long ago trapped in a time warp, you can still see tikis all over town. Which is just one more reason to love it here. This is the back of the hotel here. And I never noticed it before today, but you can actually see Suzanne Summers' Palm Springs hillside home from here. Summers, who I'm sure probably all of you remember from the classic TV sitcom Three's Company, purchased this home with her husband, Alan Hamill, back in 1977. It's the pink house, or I should probably say estate, that you see nestled in to the hillside there. The name of the house is Les Beaux Arts, and it's been for sale on and off the market for, I believe, more than a decade now. To be honest, I never heard if it's sold or if they still own it. Either way, it's still a Palm Springs landmark. It's in the very upscale Mesa neighborhood, and Barry Manilow used to live next door. Sonny Bono just lived blocks away, and many other celebrities have called the neighborhood home over the years. And I'll be visiting and showing you more of their homes in the future if you're interested in seeing them. This week I'd like to give a shout out and a very big thank you to my newest PayPal supporter, Jana Zalewski, and my newest Patreon supporter, Carrie Lackey. Thank you, Janice and Carrie, for your extra generous contributions. I also want to give a shout out to all of you who have left comments about the Rat Pack or who have suggested that I do a vlog about them. Thank you, Tweezy, Joan O'Donnell, Trotter House Watson Jr., Greg Rack, John Jackson, Franklin Clark, and Linda Shelley. Well, I'm back home now, so until our next trip down memory lane together, happy travels, everyone. Or maybe I should say aloha.